We are working on microalgae that are used for biofuel production and we are trying to genetically engineer them such that they can generate high value co-products along with the oil. So we're having the algae produce enzymes that can be sold to various industries where enzymes can help the process be better. An example of what we've done is that we've identified an enzyme that comes from this organism called Pyrococcus furiosus that comes from hydrothermal vent systems. And this enzyme has the ability to degrade uh, toxic organophosphorus compounds that you see in chemical warfare agents such as sarin and somin. And so this enzyme breaks the bond that makes those compounds toxic. And what we've done is introduce genes uh, from these extreme aphilic environments into this beautiful green culture that you're seeing and make it such that these microalgae are expressing these enzymes along with the oil so that when we go to grow up these algae and process them we're, we're getting two products we're getting the oil and we're getting the enzymes. In order to make the microalgae able to produce our enzymes of interest we have to introduce the gene from the extremophile into the microalgae genome. We grow it up uh, and then we introduce fresh water to it to lice open the cells and from that point we have the oil fraction that we will extract and use for fuel production. We have the protein fraction, the enzyme fraction that we will isolate and that enzyme can then be sold for profit. And then we have the rest of the algae biomass residue which we recycle the nutrients from for the growth of the algae. The benefit of this research is that we uh, not only are we making the valuable transportation fuel from the microalgae but we're also making high value enzymes that can be used in industrial processes. So that makes the whole economics of biofuel production from microalgae much more sustainable.